Hello, welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. I'm Dr. Tukara, and in today's episode, we're going to go over, guys, uh, one of the questions that I get a lot is, uh, what, how do I tame this or that, or uh, what do I use? Or So I'm going to show you the three types of traps that I use. Uh, I am not going to go over griffin traps in this guide because that's probably going to be a video by itself. So what we're going to do is go over the three types of traps that I normally use, but first... I want to show you what this dum dum did. Uh, he went. I was going to build this trap, and I'm going to build it for you. But this dum dum got himself trapped in there when we weren't even trying. So you can see it already works without me even doing anything. He walked in there. So let's go ahead and go over this. I'm going to tear it down to an extent, and then I'm going to let him out, and then we're going to build it back. And I'm going to show you how it is. Now this is a simple box trap. It is my favorite of all the traps, and it's the one I use the most if I use a trap. Uh, right now, of course, my, my character is OP, and my well, weapons are OP. I don't really need a trap anymore to do anything. Ex well, I, I do it with a, a Giga sometimes, but other than that, you don't really need it. Um, this guy can get out of here now. Move it along, buddy. Are you going to make me do this? Am I going to have to take you out? I think I'm going to just do it. Let's just do it. I need you out of here, so go get gone. Get gone, Bow. Get gone. Um, so let's go over here and take a look. All right, so this is a simple box trap. Uh, most of these traps are actually based on real-life traps that you would use in survival situations. They're just on a much, much larger scale. Uh, so this box trap is fairly simple. So let's build it real quick. It is uh, stone foundations, but you need to take into consideration what you're going to tame. Uh, you don't want to use a wooden trap for some for a dino that can destroy your wood. Uh, unless you know you're going to knock it out before it's destroyed. So most of the time, stone will work. If not, use metal. Uh, but but uh, most of the time, stone is the best option for it, most of us. So I'm going to use stone for this one. Uh, I'm going to go two levels high because that will tame a lot of things. So basically what you need to think about is uh, the height of the dino you're going to tame. Uh, the bigger the dino, the bigger your trap is. This is a small trap. This will, as you can see, it did it did get a, a trike in there. Um, it's not big enough for a T-Rex. My T-Rex is right there. Let me show you real quick. This T-Rex, if I use this box trap, he's probably not going to fall in there. He's probably going to go bounce over it or bounce through it. But technically, he could almost stay in there. But he can almost get out too. So. When it's the bigger ones, I go a little higher just to guarantee they're not going to go anywhere and fluke out or anything like that. So let's go ahead and start here. All right, so we've got a simple box, and then we put up some uh, simple ramps. Wooden ramps will do just fine. I'm going to put them up, put them up on this side. Now you can put them up on all sides. That way, the dinos coming from any angle will get in there. Uh, for this build, I'm just going to do it on two sides just so you can see it. Now what I want to do here is I'm going to put it here and here for a reason. I'm going to do different levels here. Uh, what I'm looking at is the dino comes up over the top, falls in, and they can't get out. Now if the dino ha is pretty fast, it needs to be taller on this other side to keep it from popping out. So watch me. Watch me run in. I'm fast. Look at that. I almost came out the other side. A dino might come out if he's tall. So what I'm going to do is go up one level higher here. Now normally that would be there too, but I want you to see that side as well. All right. So now this side is different. So this is going to be what it would look like if it was a larger trap for a larger dino. Just like that. A bigger ramp. It gets fairly simple. Now, if you have terrain issues, like here, if I did this, I noticed that when I did this earlier, the terrain right here would not allow the third ramp at the bottom. That's okay. These big dinos will step right over that. They don't care. Only a human would it would matter to, something small. Uh, if this is a permanent trap, you're going to want it done just the way you want it, and you want it to look good. If it's a temporary trap, you're not really going to care as much. But with this one, uh, it's pretty much done. It will work the way it is. You go in. You have to break it down to get them out. Or you can have a gate on one of the sides. 
uh, if it's uh, something you want to keep. See, and then I can jump in. The dino comes over the top with me, and he's falling in, and I run right out the gate. I run right out the doorway. That's why I use doorways. All these holes are for you, not for the dino. That's for you to get out in any way you need to get out without getting killed. So, let's take a look at this. And if you wanted to go taller, then you go taller. But if you have trouble with the last ramp placing, what I like to do... Did I bring any with me? Uh, I did not. Okay. So what I will do uh, is if I have trouble with these ramps c connecting or anything like that, I put more foundations down out this way to, until they'll connect, and then I take them away. So that you have foundations at the bottom of these ramps to use as a, a pillar if it's saying it needs foundation support. If it doesn't, you're fine. Don't worry about it. All right, so that's my favorite trap, the box trap. And I've got a few of these left, so let's put them in. You can see, I, if I did this on all sides, something's gonna fall in there pretty pretty easily. You see there, I've got that in there. So now I've got it on two sides. When it would be all four, they can just come in any direction and pop, they're in there. And so I like to do al uh, aloes with this trap because when they, they're a little taller, so it's, even if I go this way, once I pop up, see, they, they're not going to come out that side if it's that tall. It'll go up three for them. So uh, that's what I like to do. We'll take a look at the next type of trap. It's a, it's, this is the one I use for gigas. Uh, it's a gate trap. It's, you got your, your gate frames. What it is is a U-shape, and then I, the giga follows you. You can either be running if you're brave and you're super fast. Or you're going to be on a dyno or a flyer, and you fly right through these gates, and the, the Giga stops at the gate. And then you keep moving, and you want him stuck there. And then, you notice he can get back out that opening. So you need to hurry back around, but don't get bit. He still has a lot of range. You need to go around and pop this last gate in there to keep him from getting out. So I'm going to show you. My Giga's right here. Let's go grab my Giga, and I'm going to put him in there just so you can see it. My Giga is... he's huge. Get over there. He goes right in. What do you mean I can't on board? You're crazy. Get off that Giga. Alright. So the Giga is stuck. He can't get out. When I run around and I put this back in there, he is stuck in there. He cannot he cannot leave. Alright, he's trapped. Then let's try it out. Can he get out? No, he can't. He's going all over. He can't get out these way either, so he's he's he's, he's stuck. He's he's ready to tame. Alright, so and the with this kind of a giga trap, uh it's gonna be bigger than this. This is just a small scale version. Uh, but if you can get him to fit in a small one, that's fine. But they don't have to be touching. You notice right here, this end gate, this big gap, if he can't fit through there, the gap can be as big as that opening there. This this opening, he cannot fit through there. So your gaps between the fences can be that big. So that, that'll give you a little uh, saving on the materials when you're building this. Now let's look at the last type of trap that I'm going to go over today. This is based off of a fish trap in uh, real world survival, but I made it on a larger scale. It's basically a V-shape, a V-shaped tunnel that funnels the dino into your tr into your opening, into a big round U-shape, and then it can't get out. So what you like to do is uh, the dino is you're chased, being chased by a dino. You go in and you go to the left or to the right so that he comes that way after you. Now, he's stuck. There is no closure, it's not closed, it's open-ended on that spot, but it's really hard for an animal to get out because they have to be at a certain angle, going in a certain direction to get out. And for fish, when they use this trap, it's a little narrow. It's, this opening needs to be the size of your, the dino you want to tame. So if it's bigger than one fence foundation, then you need two. So you need to consider that when you make them. But for fish, it's really small, about the size of me, pretty much. This doorway would be work. Uh, if this, this opening was the size of a doorway, and then the fish are going to swim all around. They're going to try to get out. Dinos are going to do the same thing. These dinos are going to try to walk around the edges, blah, blah, blah. You know, just keep going around in circles. 
but if he, if he comes in at this angle, he can get out. So what, that's why this foundation is right here. If I run in and I take him over here, he's looking at me right here. He's coming, trying to come out this side with me. But if I have if I have another doorway, I can I can sneak in there, and now he's trapped. He can't get out now. He's stuck. It's over. Time to tame. And those are my three favorite traps, guys. Uh, we will later go over griffin traps later because they're a little more uh, upscale for me, at least. Uh, I like to have them permanent. I don't like to do temporary uh, traps for griffins, especially on my server. Uh, so that's going to do it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.